Today, we are learning continuation of having proper kavanot on the prayers. And through this, we will learn deeper 10 gates of the connection between us and Hashem or Hashem to us. And these gates are called sefilot. Sefilot, in our language, we call it adapter. So this shiurim that we make should be Leilu Nishmat, mother of our dear friend. Leilu Nishmat, Bela Belorio, but Estel, Ruach Hashem, Tanichena Bagan Eden. And also, now as we speak, Yushua going on of our friend that every week he's the one who sends the link, he's the one who sends the schedule, and he's the one who runs the whole programs that has to do with computer in the shul. His uh, name is Michael Aminov. His grandfather is your side. Rafael Chai Ben Ima Shalom, the same name of your grandfather. Amen. So today's shiur is going to be a little bit deep, but we'll make it easy. Now it's easy to make it easy. Why? Because we have board. We write A, B, C, comes out D. It's easy. So whoever is feeling a little bit bored, we're gonna make sure that you have a pen and paper, and we're gonna write it down, and you'll see how Torah is true. It's not like somebody just said something, uh, why is it allowed? Hashem said so, finish with it. No, why is it not allowed? Hashem said so, no. It's good Hashem said so, yes, but when you prove to a person why, what, then he gets more connected, and it's really, really deep. The connection is important, the kavanot are important. We will see today how it really works. So. Before I want to start, I want to show you to find in Shmona Yisrael Bracha Mechayeh Ametim. Mechayeh Ametim. As soon as you start Shmona Yisrael, Tretzi Bracha. Third Bracha. We start Baruch Ata Hashem, Magen Avraham. <coughs> After Magen Avraham comes Bracha Mechayeh Ametim. One more time, guys. I am coughing sometimes, but it's nothing. Nothing major. Because I just scratched my throat. I even went to take test because my wife said, if you have COVID, I'm going to throw you, throw you out of the house. And what? I didn't. Baruch Hashem, this is why I'm still in the house, you know? Thank you. Shalom Aleichem, guys. How are you? Guys, for you being here, one happiness. You made Mullah Rafael Khawasov be with us today. Mullah Rafael, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's different happiness. It's, it's different. his father's birthday today. You know that, right? And he said, okay, I'm going to try wow. to make it. Wow. 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 Please, uh, Mullah Rafael, tomorrow this year will be in the link. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. And make sure your father sees this. Mullah Alik. Yeah? Mullah Amnen. Happy birthday. Hashem should give him long life. He's a good person. He has good kids. And, uh, and by Zad Hashem, all his wishes should come true. Amen. <coughs> okay. So now what happens? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Second bracha in Mechaya Metim. Hashem, thank you. You're making dead people life. I promise you, after today, your Shmonaisa will be different. I promise you. Usually I don't promise things. Today I promise you. This bracha is in the holiday during weekday. You could have it everywhere. Second one. Baruch Hashem, Mechaya Metim. Oh, stop. You have it? Yeah. And those books, like Lawawaja, you have book. Over there you have Yud Kevauke written. What is under the Yud Kevauke? Kaki Taman and Tochki Padnim. Dve Tochki. Thank you. It is called Tere. What Tere stands for? Ibi? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, okay. So now there is letters and there is vowels on the bottom. Last week we learned first two vowels. A, A. 
Patach Kamatz. I'll explain it one more time to make it juicy. So. <coughs> Those who, those who can hear me, it's fine. If not, I'll put the microphone back. There is such a vowel under the letters. Let's say this is Aleph, right? This is Aleph. This is called what? This is what's called? Kamats. This was called Kamats. Don't write it. Don't write it. I'm just putting a review from last week. This is called Batach. Today we will learn the third one. This one is not I know him. I saw him. And this one is called? Tzere. So if my father would be here, he would make a joke. He would say, whenever you enter the bus, you say, first of all, to the driver. Sorry. That was a joke. I know it's recording, but you know what? People have to learn. When you see somebody say hello, this generation missing warmth. You know, yeah, hello. No, you know. This one, oh, it's good. Video sees me, people, you see me, guys? How many dots you see over here? Two. This is called Tere. I'll show you how it is written in Hebrew and how it is written in English. Tere, you write like this. Tere. Tere. And in English, you write simply like this. Tere. Tz mixed Tere. What Tere stands for? Why it is written Kamat, Patach, Tere? Why is it written Aleph? Bichlal. Somebody asks you, uh, how many letters in the Torah? 22. Why Aleph is first? Why Mem is the middle? And why Tav is in the end? Why is it like this? Why? why? I mean, whoa. Baruchim Avayim. Thank you. Why it is like this? Everything has a reason. Don't think in the Torah, oh, my grandfather said so. No, there's no shit in You have to give him the answer. When you give the answer, A, you feel connected. B, he knows that you don't joke around. You know what he's talking about. So, how do you say truth in Hebrew? Truth. I say the truth. How do you say? Amen. 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 You know, if I am Chazan, from one word I say, you see if I know what I'm saying. Or I'm, or I'm doing, or, or I don't know what I'm doing. For example, Chazan finishes Shema Israel. What is the last word, three words? Hashem Elokechem. Amen. Amen. What if he says, Hashem Elokechem, skips M Aleph and says, Hashem Elokechem, God forbid, Met. What does that mean? Yeah. God, it means God is Chasoshon, dead. So therefore, how do you know a per person, professional Chazan says, Hashem Elokechem, Emet. He says, Emet. You know, he says Aleph loud. Why? Because Emet means truth. It's true. Why, if you take Aleph away from Emet, comes out Met? Look at this. The first letter in the Torah we said what? Aleph. 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 Here is Aleph. The second is, and uh, the middle one? Met. And the last one? Aleph. What stands for? Emet. Emet, right? Emet means truth. Hashem says the whole alphabet, the, the middle, the first, I'm sorry, the first, the middle, and the end is <coughs> truth. Means when you see speak truth, you have the whole alphabet in your mouth. The whole Torah you have in your mouth. You bless somebody, it will work. Why? You're speaking truth. That is very important. What if, how many gods in the world? One. How much is Gimatria one? One. Which book? Which one later? Aleph. 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 So you take Aleph away. If you take from the truth Aleph away, you take God away from your words, what comes out? Met yes. death. Mm. Wow. This is what makes difference between truth and not truth. Yes. Like when you speak the truth, you make dead things life. Means yes. you speak the truth. Okay, but the point is, why am I speaking about this? Not because to show you the word I made and this. No. 
Aleph is one. Why Aleph is called Aleph? How do you call chief in Hebrew? Aluf. Thank you. What? Aluf. A Luf is chief. Aluf. Aluf. Spell it like this. Aluf means chief. Hashem is Aleph. Hashem is one. He is chief of the world. Rabbi, from today's day, Biden. My friend, my friend. One more time, one more time. Uh, don't make... For those who don't hear me, don't make mistake never in the world. Never. I know what I'm saying is dangerous, but you know, I like to say whatever is here should be here. Never in my life I saw, never in my life I saw a president has no power at all like I saw in America. In Russia, president said something, president, it's done. In America, president has no voice. So never again repeat what you just said because it's not true at all. But who's the one who's real and who says something happens 100%? Hashem and only. Only and only. Then never, never forget about this point. Now, can we go further? Who has a good memory? I don't want to repeat because if I repeat things, then you'll forget. Who has a good memory? What was Kamat? Today we are not talking about letters. We are talking about vowels under it. What is this? Kamats. Why is it called Kamats? When you're going to speak to Hashem, when you're going to speak to Hashem, you know what they call in English, I forgot the way it is called, when I was taking courses out to be a teacher 20 years ago, 18 years ago, they used to say, like today they call it PowerPoint. What is your main goal? Achieving point. Fits everything. What? Fits everything. Fits everything. Yeah, you you capping from last week. Yeah, well, you said, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Hashem says, my son, you come to talk to me. What is your point? What's the goal? What is the goal? What is your reaching destination? You know, if you have how they say mission, mission. What's the word? Impossible. Now there's a word, word uh, like accomplishing of the mission. There's mission, there's a way. mission accomplishment. accomplishment. Very good. Thank you. You want to open business, right? A uh, person comes and says, listen, I want to help you out. Or oh, architect comes to build your business. Says, What's your mission? How many floors do you want in the building? What do you want to do, right? Or oh, you want to open business. What do you want to sell in your business? How do you want to become? Same thing. You go, Shacharit, Mi, Kharavit. Hashem says, hi, join the dish. What do you want to talk about? How do you want to start your Shmona Israel? He said, listen, Hashem, my, my relative is sick. My mother doesn't feel well. Or oh, my father this and this. My son, my daughter, my, my wife. You know, why it happens to them, anything, to anybody. Hashem says, I give you signs to come to talk to me. That's all. I want you to talk to me. This is why things happen in life. So now what happens? We come to Hashem. We have mission accomplishment. All your thoughts in one bucket. How do you call that? Kimuts. That is Kamaz. This one. Kimuts. All the thoughts included. Like gathered? All gathered, all included. Right now, all. By the way, this guy is my future doma. If you know, this is why he's not about stuff. I mean, I mean, those who don't know, I'm sorry, but you know, we try to make sure everybody. Big tzaddik, big tzaddik. Hello, it's big tzaddik. All, all included. Right now, all included. Your all thoughts included inside. This is kamat. But now, having everything in a bucket is not enough. You have to make a hole and let it go a little bit, right? This is why you have second one. What is the second one? Patach. patach. What's patach? What means patach? You say poteach et yadech What means poteach? Open, open, to open, 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 open the gate. That's right. Patach is to open. Open up. No. Open up what? Full bucket with all the intentions that you want to say from in front of Hashem. Somebody told me, when do you get the most fear of God or connection to God or love of God? Where do you get the most? Two things. Never forget. Not true. When you make brachot, because you say 100 brachot a day, this is the biggest connection you get with Hashem. And when you pray Shmona Yisrael. Why? Because you constantly say, you know what? Oh, I have, I have this happen to me. I want to speak to Hashem. I want to know what to do next step here. The, the fact that you talk to Hashem and you get the answer, this is where you get the most connected. I'll show you later on how you get the answers. I'll show you. It, it's very beautiful. Number three today is this one. 
Tere, very good. I never, believe me or not, I teach in Yeshiva 20 years. If you ask me what is this, I said Tere. Why is it called Tere? My great grandfather said Tere. Moshe Rabbeinu said Tere. And I said Tere, finished. Why is it called Tere? This is the biggest question today. You'll come out from here. Even if you're not going to remember everything we say, you will know why it is called Tere. You go to anybody, anywhere in shoes, say, listen, why is it called Tere? You go to honestly, I don't know. Because I never asked myself this for 20 years. And Baruch Hashem, I have this book, it opens all the secrets. And I like to show you. Now, before we go further, this Baracha, this sign, in Hashem's name, how do you write Hashem's name? You and then, help me out, guys. You and then, hey and then, and then, hey. In, in Shmona Yisra, every bracha has different name of Hashem, same name of Hashem, but different vowels on the bottom. And one of them is like this, actually in two places. But we will mention the first one now. Where do you have this? In Bracha of Mechaye. Mechaye. Ha Metim. In Bracha Mechaye Metim. What Mechaye Metim? Hashem, you. Revive the dead. Revive the Help me with spelling. Re. Like that? Yeah. Revive the dead. Hashem, you make dead people life. Why? Why Chachamim, who established the Shemona Yisra 2,000 years ago in Gemara, they said, here has to be Hashem's name with two dots on the bottom, which is called Tzere. What is Tzere? That's the question. And the answer is, the answer is, Tzere is of the third, what was the first one we said? Keter, then? Chochmah, and then? Bina. The third one, the third one, was Bina. Write it down. <coughs> the Sefirah number three is Bina. Understand? Bina. Bina stands for Tere. One more time. Bina means understanding. I'll ask you a question. This is nowhere to be carried outside because I want your safety, my safety as well. I'm also married. Who has stronger understanding in life? Men or women? Who has faster understanding? Woman. Woman. Question. You live, you live in fifth floor in a building. Somebody buzzes on the bottom. Ring. And your wife says, this is my aunt. You say, what? This is my mother. Why would your aunt come to my house right now? Who is right? 90%? Huh? 90% wife is right. Or you want to go into business deal with somebody and you're ready almost to put a contract and your wife says, no, I feel bad don't feeling about this guy. Don't do it. Please, I beg you, don't do it. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Why? I think 100%, not even 90 100%. Why? Proof. What's the proof that women faster than men? How old do you have to be to put your feeling on? 13. 13. How old girls have to be 12. to be ready to 12. 12. Why? Hashem says one year early, you see? They get faster. Woman has faster, but I'll show you deeper for you. Have you got ready? You have seat belt on? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, good, good, good. <coughs> Bina. It means to get pregnant and to give birth. And this is why you have two dots of tere. And I'll say, where do you see the word tere over here? Get pregnant, give birth. Do you see that over here? Do you see that over here? Yeah. Who has this ability to do, man or woman? Woman. Woman. Yeah. The way woman gives birth and brings the baby, the same thing. This is why 2,000 years ago, Rabbi said to put Hashem's name with the two dot that gives birth in the bracha where Machaya Metim Hashem, you make dead people life. The word, the earth, as if the land is giving birth them again, and the dead people. That you buried your relative under the ground, when Mashiach comes, that relative will get up. Does Whoever Bina doesn't believe do? in this, he doesn't believe in nothing, huh? What does Bina have to do with that thing? Very good. This is what I'm standing here for. Ready? Yes? Okay, now let's go. Bina. Binia. Bina means Binia Taperatim. What means Bina? 
to build the small details. You had, you had what? The first kavanah was what? Kamats. Kamats is what? Hashem, I have in front of you a building. I want to make a building to make sure in my building you come there. Foundation. My bed amigdash, the way I say, okay? Foundation. But what happens? You have to do in action. Thought is good. What is action? Beginning to start action is what? Patach. But now, yeah, you have a big building. Inside everything empty. The door is open. What are you starting to do now? You have to bring the things and start putting small by like small pieces together to make a building, right? You, be, you bring metal, then you bring bricks, then you bring sand, then you bring water, then you bring this. It is called what? Bina. Building piece by piece, like a puzzle building. Building piece by piece. So now, what building piece by piece has to do with giving birth? Where do you start giving birth over here? The answer is like this. Piriyat apriyatim alpi machashev in a והבאתם לידי יכולת מימוש בפועל. הבינה, הבינה היא, הבנה דבר מתוך דבר על פי החוכמה. בינה is building something with something else. הבינה קשורה ללב. בינה is connected to where? In person's body? In the heart. You could put over here, simply. בינה is, can I do something like caution? Please don't be upset. What does that mean? The deal. Deal, that's right. Heart. In the heart will be deal, I'm sorry. Heart. Okay? Uh, something maybe you never asked. Why Torah is not given like this? Why Torah is given like this? You know why? Because of this. Hashem says, when you learn my Torah, I don't want you to be like a wall. I want you to give you a heart. Right. Learn Torah with a heart. What's the proof? What's the proof? What's the proof? Huh? What's the last letter in the Torah? Last. Le'enekon? Israel. Israel. Which letter is that? I love to write this letter because it's beautiful. And what's the first letter in the Torah? Bere. Sheep. What's that? The heart. 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 Okay? The Torah, you want to understand from the end to the beginning, from beginning to the end, you have to give your heart. Lev. But now, if you see over here, Lev again has Tzere over here. Why do I have Tzere? What is Tzere? Look at the word Tzere. Tzere stands for, put this Jude over here. What will be? Yetzira. You know what Yetzira stands for? Yetzira is to give birth, to create, to form. It is called Yetzira. Yetzirat Havlad, to forming a baby. Yotzer HaMeorot, Hashem who created the uh, luminaries. Very good. So now we're going further. It says like this. Yetzira huh? uh, is, Yetzira is to create. Yetzer is inclination. Inclination, direction. Good direction, bad direction. How many gates you have in Bina? <coughs> How many gates you have in understanding? Seven. Fifty. Nun Share Bina. Well guys, come on, you forgot? Yeah. Nun Share Bina. Fifty. Fifty gates of understanding. Everyone has fifty gates of understanding. If anyone feels warm, hot, you could open the door, no problem. Okay. Now the Bina has the dots. The vowels of Bina is what? Tere, tere is ukshula le itila ve ibur. Now, Tere has, no, yes, I'm sure. Tere has, I could erase some stuff, no problem? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The main new for today is what? Is this piece. Bina, heart, two dots. Tere, Tere. Now, right, Tere is like this. <laughs> Tzere stands for two things, Yetzira and Ibur. Yetzira and Ibur. What's Ibur again? Ibur is giving birth. Yetzira is forming. So I would say, when, when a woman is pregnant, what do you say? Me'uberet. She is pregnant. Ibur is pregnancy. 
and Yetzila is forming. Write down pregnancy and forming. <coughs> By the way, yesterday was another guy's wedding who was with us in Buffalo. Yes, Mordechai Chai, Yonatanov. <coughs> Unbelievable. We took 60 guys to, remember Buffalo? Seven got married already. Baruch Hashem. Seven Seven in one year? Eight? Bezad Hashem, Bezad Hashem. In one year? In one year? Kaka year, seven months, six months. Within six months. And there's many more coming up, Bezad Hashem. What happened, I'm sorry? We had a trip. Uh, two years ago, we found in a buffalo, big rabbi's grave. There was Hasidim, 60, 60 young guys. They went to Buffalo by car and they prayed there. Within one year, 60 got married. So I said, let's do this trip, let's do this trip. We found the grave, everything, but we couldn't go. What happened? Beginning of June, we had opportunity to go. Why? Quarantine, everything is closed. No cars, not a lot of cars in the street. So we got, Rabbi Nathaniel helped us to get two big wins. 15 passengers, we had two wins. And we had like how many cars? A few. 15. 15 cars. We had all together, close to 80 to 90 people who went. Bukharin caravan. It was amazing. <laughs> For three hours in a mountain, you just see our cars. <laughs> Empty. We were flying, doing crazy stuff, whatever. We went overnight. Nissim found us hotel. Okay. We went there. It was amazing experience. Everyone prayed from bottom of the heart. And already seven couples, seven of them got married. Seven people. We took Sefer Torah with us. We made Tefillah there. When we do the trip again? Huh? Uh, if it will happen, maybe during Cholamot Pesach. If not, then summer. Can you let Just, me know? I have some people I could send that to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'll tell you? I came back. I was exhausted. Eight hours driving. And I went to see Khal Shav's mother's 30 days was. When I said it, one man said, good, good, Chazak Baruch. He said, let's see, it's going to happen. I said, when it's going to happen, I'll let you know. Seven times, six times I called him already. Tomorrow I'm going to call him seventh time. Because yesterday another one got there. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. Huh? Rabbi something? Yosef Rabbi Novitz. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't mean nothing. He was big, big Tamit Chacham. He was big Tzadik. And he said, whoever comes to my girl, you know what is it is? This grave is by Niagara Falls, almost like Niagara Falls. It's 10 minutes from Niagara Falls. We went to Niagara Falls after that. We had a lot of fun there. We had a lot of fun. Our trips, you know what I'll tell you? I want to say again one more time thank you to my wife. She made sandwiches like thousands. We stopped a few stops in the highway, set up the table. We're eating like crazy. Every driving was, was crazy fun. We had shashlik that night, remember that? We had a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. And if next time by session you want to do it, <coughs> we are here now what is this what are we talking about we need to know a few things oh wow time is going <coughs> I pray Shimon Aisra okay I pray Shimon Aisra where do I start from Hashem first bracha is what Magen Abraham very good we'll go further Second bracha, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mechayeh Hametim. Stop for a second. What am I thinking about? Hashem, thank you, you make dead people alive. Guys, if you don't make Kavana on all the Shmona Yisrael 18 brachot, I'm not going to say it's normal, because I don't do Kavana like this myself. If I do Kavana on everything, it's going to take three hours. But, constraint on one bracha. At least for today, you take one bracha. Or oh, this week, I'm concentrating on this bracha. Two weeks ago, we went on Kamatz. Last week, we went on Patach. This week, Chachabri, this week, at least, this week, take on yourself this Tzereh, two dots. Whatever you see Hashem's name on the bottom, two dots. And I'm telling you where is this. Well, first place is in Shemon is is Mechaya What do you have Kavana over here? Hashem, please make dead people life. When Hashem makes that, when Mashiach comes. But now, <clears throat> there's two ways to pray over here. Way, now, way number one to pray is, when you make dead people alive, please Hashem, by orders, limb by limb, piece by piece, you know, connect all the orders, all the organs together. This is one Kavana. Second Kavana, if you know, if you know, no, 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 I'm standing by purpose. Purposely. 
if you know anybody having a hard time getting married, you know, when family get married, that's a born of a new family. That's a born of a new family. This is also has to do with born, giving birth. Or, you know, a woman wants to have children. You pray for them, Hashem. In Baracham Achayim don't rush. Don't rush. The connection between you and Hashem, only you create this connection. No one can create this connection for you. Stand. If somebody's rushing, ah, oh, Bisla. Today's connection cannot be tomorrow. And what you could connect in this world, no second person could do for you. Like each letter in the Sefer Torah stands for itself. That letter is not there, Sefer Torah is not kosher. Same thing, if you didn't do your mission for what you need to do in life, I cannot do your mission, you cannot do my mission. Everyone stands for himself. So have Kavana. Hashem, please help this family to get married, for example. Help this family to have a baby boy. Help this family to have a baby girl. Or anything of that. Or you want somebody to become closer to Hashem. That also giving birth. Hashem, please help them to give birth with that. Or somebody is sick now. Let's, let's say, God forbid, he has decree in Shaman to be sick or God forbid. And you pray for him. When he comes out from the hospital as if he was born again. Why it happens to him? Because you prayed for him. You could pray for people don't, you don't even know. Hashem, please cure dead people. I mean, sick people who are sick right now. All this. In bracha, where? Machaye? Hametim. Huh? You have to make it kavana before or after Baruch Thank you. Thank you. The best thing to do is Baruch Hashem. Blessed are you, Hashem, who make dead people alive. Over there. Stop. No talking, just in your thoughts. But, uh, say you have to make What's your name? Kagvazot. Kagvazot. Bachor. 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 You asking or you want to answer? If you're asking, okay. Usually, first three brachot, it is Hashem's. You're not allowed to ask for your things over there. You basically praising Hashem. Like a servant comes to Hashem, he praises. And then after that, Chonen Adad, you're asking from Hashem. Here, since it's one of the three that belongs to praising, here you just think. After the bracha is said. Other ones we'll talk later. Like Shomea Tfilah, before you say Shomea Tfilah. Hashem, please listen to me. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Hashem, that you hear prayers. Okay, every baracha has its own space over there. But here, here is... Here, exactly. Here is to give, but how? You kavana. You're asking, not for yourself, for some other people. Yeah. And you should know what Gemara says. By the way, I learned it today first time. Gemara says, not this piece, the second piece. Gemara says, when you pray for somebody and you need that same thing, Hashem gives you first. Yes. But I didn't know another detail over there. What if now I don't need? I will need in five years. Gemara says, if you ask for somebody else something, but you will need something in five years for yourself, Hashem will give you in five years even before you ask. Why? Because now you're asking for somebody else. Yeah. Uh, what was it like a... Uh, 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 like uh, 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 Okay, okay. One day. Now, how many Sfilo did you learn for now? Three. <coughs> this is these are called sefilot. Ah, okay. How many sefilot we learned? Three. So now I'm sorry for all this mess. I'm cleaning it up and now we'll make everything clear to for you to understand it better. <laughs> what was the first one? Come on. Keter? And the sign of Keter was what? Ka? Kamat. Second one was? Chokh. And the sign of Chokhmah is what? 
And the third one is what we're learning today is Bina. Bina sign is what? Terry. Can you put next to the word for those? Science. Science, yes. I'm sorry, I'm not going to Yeah, please take it. Thank you. Okay, Tere, two dots. Rabbi, for the, for Tere. the first one, if it's longer, the longer one, which is the all sign, is that also the Kamas? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, it's Kamas. Uh, oh, just in pronunciation is different, but okay. it's the same name, same thing. Okay, Kamas. So now, these three are called Rishonot. These three are called Rishonot, first ones. First three are called re show not the first ones. They are called first. Why is it called first ones? We'll talk about it. And the beginning, Machashava, Kavana, Managa, Bahen he me al derech ateva keter, Keneged Kotsoshelut, Chokma Keneged Yud, Bina Keneged, Hey re show na. These three are called. <coughs> Give a Rishonot, what is this called? Uh, huh? Gar. Oh, abbreviated. Abbreviated. Gar. Yes, but what is this called? What is this stands for? Kavanah and Machashava. Thoughts and intentions. I'm sorry if I make a mistake with spelling, you have to tell me. Thoughts? If, if they don't, just don't pay attention. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so. Intent? Yeah, yeah. Intent? It's okay. Intent? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We still understand. Bukhara in English, There is. Okay, now. Now. Only the first thing. This first three. Oh yeah, okay. Only first three is intentions and thoughts. No words. Kavanot. This has to do with brain. Somebody has problems with headaches. You pray this three brachot. Kavana Hashem, take away headache from this person. Hmm? Yeah, but this is no side effects. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Straight, hundred percent calories. You know. Now, the other seven. Once upon a time, someone taught me how to write Sefer Torah, and he taught me how to make it nice on the board. But I didn't do for many years. If something goes wrong, forgive me. You see, you already got wrong. Sorry. Try and try. What is that? Youth and then? Sorry, then? Well, it's not considered a racing machine. No, they're natural. They're natural. They're natural. They're Okay. Yud K, Vau K. Here I put the separation. Yud dash. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Now, now, we spoke last week. <coughs> Yud has few things over there. Yeah. Let's dance. Uh, <coughs> Yud stands for what? <coughs> Keter is it called crown? Where is Keter over here? All the test fillers are over here. Where is Keter? This is the Keter. Keter is under top point of the youth. By the way, Zohar says, I mean me and you, I mean, whatever I'm saying, I don't know what I'm saying. I just read in some books. Zohar says, this piece is more holier than all the entire name of Hashem. 
the the top yeah, part of you. The whole world is standing because of the top part of you. By the way, by the way, question to you all: Which letter in the whole alphabet represents Gan Eden? Huh? The biggest letter in the Torah, which one? Lamed. Which letter represents Gan Eden? Huh? He said Dalit, you, which, what else, guys, come on. Don't be shy, throw the answers. Even if you say something wrong, it's fine. Ah, hey, hey, hey is Teshuvah, by the way. Which letter? Yud, why Yud? It is the smallest letter. There is room for only little people. Only Tzadikim go to Ganeda. I'm not joking. This was Marsh. I don't want to make anybody upset, but only... Cloudy cell goes there. Right. I mean, don't say in public or else, you know, <laughs> going on and Huh? Only Not you. Only the top point. Mr. Yadgar of Shamal. How is Shamal? Okay, next. This is Keter. What is the second one? Chokhmah. Where is Chokhmah? This is Keter, right? So let's write Keter. <coughs> this is, guys, what letter is this? Yud. Yud, Yud is Chokhmah. Yes. Okay? You this Chokhmah. The tab is Keter, crown. Chokhmah, wisdom. <coughs> Somebody, let's say you know a student, kid, he goes to school, does not understand, he comes home, teachers, principals complain, he doesn't understand what he learns, he needs special help. First you try. Before you find any teacher, any anything, social, or whatever, you start praying. Have Kavana and then let it, you of Hashem. Hashem, please give Chokhmah to my son. You know? Pray. Give Chokhmah to the world. Pray. Or give Chokhmah to doctors that they should cure sick people. Anything, anything. Anything, guys. The world, we have problems. Why? Hashem wants to talk to us. That's all. That's the main reason. As soon as we'll find the key, everything will be disappearing. All this corona, everything. Bezad Hashem. Now, today we're learning which one? B? Bina. Bina. One more time, guys. Talk. Don't forget this. Bina stands for? Heart. Heart. Left. Heart. Left. Heart. Left. Very good. And the sign of the Dina is what? Tere. Very good. Where is Dina? Uh, Bina? Bina is letter? Hey. Not letter. Hey. Stam letter. Hey. The first hey of Hashem's name. Here you could have Kavana in Bina. Somebody cannot have children. Somebody cannot get married. Somebody cannot get into college. Somebody cannot open business. Somebody is not successful somewhere. Here, letter hey. This hey is not meant for that. This hey is meant for what? Teshuvah. What's Teshuvah? Repentance. repentance. Why the letter, letter hey stands for repentance? When you standing under Hashem on Yom Kippur, and you sin two, three weeks later, big sin, you fall very deeply. Why? The bottom is open. But you should know, Hashem says, even though you fall deeply, there is still a way. I'm waiting for you to come back. There is still a way for you to come back. No. This is why letter hand stands for Teshuvah. So another opening. Huh? Another opening. Another opening. Very good. Hashem says, there's always a way to, to do Teshuvah, and I'm always waiting for you. Letter H stands for Teshu. Oh, wow. Teshuva. Very good. Now, we'll go further or you got tired from me? No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. Ooh. You ready? Yeah? Okay, so now let's go to letter V. <laughs> Guys, one thing you should know. Even if you don't like whatever we learn, you say it's too deep, whatever. You must know all the gematrias. Our Jewish people will survive because of this gematrias. Yes. You know, when they used to make business deals, how do you think we survived business deals in Russia, in Uzbekistan? They would say gematrias. They'd say Samach Gimel. 
That would mean 63. Ein Dalet, 74. You know, they would put all the words only in Gimatas, letters. Why? Because this always survived. Only Torah has letters, numbers. No other religion has. Today they will try to copy. But it's not going to work. Why? Because Torah is emet. Nothing else is emet. They change every three, four years. So now, Aleph is for what? At least, at least till 10. Write it down today. Because you'll need it. I'm telling you, you'll need it. Aleph is? One. Bet is? Bet, bet is two. Gimel is? Three. Three. Dalet? Four. Hey? Five. 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 Six. Six. Zain? Seven. Chet? Eight. Tet? Sorry. Tet is nine. You this? Dalet. Dalet. Huh? Which one is powerful? Most uh, powerful <coughs> letter. Well, I know if somebody's da David, I could say Dalit. No, I don't know why. The, the truth is you. Not because my name is Yosef, you. Yeah. No, no. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> mean that. Doesn't mean that huh? His name is also Yosef. Who's Yosef? Is yeah, but ask me this. Well, Yosef, in Mexico, it's Yosef. No, no, no. Dalit, Dalit. Dalit stands for humble. David Amelech, humble. What Dalit stands for from the word Dalut? Dalut means poor. He's a big guy, big inside, holy, but poor. He, he's like a humble, humble. He's acting like poor means humble. It's a very big thing. David, huh? Dalit is humble. So now, let's write down one second. How much is Vav? Six. Six, you agree with me? Yes. How many Sifilot all there? Ten. If you agree with me, here's how many? One. One. Here's one. Here, how many we said already? How many we learned before? Here's two, right? One. Here's two. Here's three. And one over here all together became four. How many is missing? Six. Six. This is why letter vowel here. Just letter vowel in Hashem's name stands for six. And I'm writing you all their names over here around them. Sorry, I didn't say One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. You show us. You show us. In Hashem's name. In Hashem's name. How many you have Sfilot? Ten. Ten. Two in there. What's the fourth? One in there. Patience. No, no. You said there are six in the vowel. One six. You with me? The main thing you should be with me. That's all. Six dwell on the letter one. Letter Yud. It's Just two. the crown is okay. one. one. Letter itself, Four. two. How many you got? Three. Two. 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 Letter A is one. 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 All together you got three. 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 Here should be six. six three and six. How much? Nine. And Nine. And here's one. One here. One, two, three, another one is four. Okay, so we can and say here that you have how many? Six. Huh? So you can say, hey, Gematria is five. Yeah, we'll call that number. We'll go on. After whatever we'll explain, you'll have no questions, my friend. Let's go for it. Can we go for it? We said, we said, Hashem created the world how? With two letters. Yud K. Kola Hashem Tehalel? Yeah. Oh, one second. What did you say? Yud K. Yud K. That's right. This is how Hashem created the whole world. With three. Kavanot. Okay? Keter Chokhmah Bina finished. The other ones is, we'll see right now. Let's go. <coughs> Let's write down the names. Guys, please write it down. It's important things to know. You're not going to learn this in yeshivas. You're not going to hear this in nowhere. People don't talk about this stuff. It is very important to know. This is your connection with Hashem. What is Sefirot? I always say this. We never explained it before. Sefirot means adapters. What adapter does? You have, you have charger. You have charger. Charger gives, let's say, 110 volts. And your phone takes how many volts? 8, 12 maybe. Huh? Maximum 10, 50, I don't know, 10. Maximum 20, thank you. So it has to, adapter takes, makes 110 and transforms to? Converts to 20. So now, what is Sefilot? Sefilot is connection between you and Hashem. You do mitzvah, it doesn't go anywhere. 
it goes in the calculation and Hashem sends you light bracha. But if Hashem will give you bracha that belongs in heaven, in the earth, the whole world will be destroyed. So what Hashem does, Hashem puts in this sefirot and then trying convert to you into what you need in your daily base. It lowers the voltage. Lowers the, exactly. Or else the world will not survive. And this how it goes up and down every single day. Connection between you and Hashem. Back and, back and forth. Is that why it's dying on a body also? Is that why it's yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk about it. But yes. The connection is getting weaker and weaker. You don't think so? Between us and Hashem? Yes. <coughs> How much miss you? I'll tell you the truth. Please. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> if my great great grandfather's generation okay. would have internet, iPhone, computers everywhere. Do you really think they would remain that tzaddikim over there? Maybe yes, big maybe not. Correct. So we're doing this to us. The ourselves. biggest king, 150 years ago, was thinking he's the biggest because he was sitting on the beautiful horse with a back nice chariot. Today, the poor guy sits over there. Okay. Today you sit in a car. You don't need to put extremely uh, chimney in the back. You could put just one thing and that's all. The heat working over there. He was a king 150 years ago, 200 years ago, and they had to make chimney and everything smelled sometimes, and he had to be warm inside, and that was considered king. The suffering of the world was terrible. Today, everything is easy. Hashem put us specially in this way, where we have such a big test. A person could be over day, overnight, tzaddik or rasha, with his cell phones, with his internet, with his, everything is open in the world, and you still, Remain Jew. You still go to learn. You still keep Kaddish. You still keep mitzvot. You keep tefillin. Do you think we are weak? No. We really fight. Guys, this world is very hard now. You know, I know some people opened business recently. They were thinking, should I put mitzvot because of these lures and that or not? And they still did it. That is Yilat Shamaim. Of course, our great grandparents, they had different tests. Of course, they were fighting with it. But listen, don't think our generation is very weak. We do a lot of fighting daily base. Daily base, we fight with it. And Baruch Hashem, we fight. Baruch Hashem, we're still going, we're still growing. Uh, our biggest enemy is technology, according to what you say. Sure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. How, how Can I tell you the truth? Every father, every father fought. To make sure his son away from these toys, away from these games, away from these iPads. 100%. You know what happened, Corona? They destroyed all the families. You must be on Zoom. Child plays on Zoom, right? 40 minutes learning, other minutes, 20 minutes playing, uh, 20 minutes recess. What? Child will close it, be honest to himself, go to recess, yeah? No, he's going to continue playing whatever he began the game before the class. Or sometimes he's playing during the class. You know what they do? They take a nice pictures if they're looking at the book. <laughs> and this picture stays and he continue playing over there. Uh, Avram, you there? Yeah, of course I'm here. I just would do it like this, you know. They're very, huh? It's already old. They already have new things. They have new things. You, you'll be shocked if you see. <coughs> okay. I want to go with you guys to write down the six names and then we'll start to go further. And then we'll conclude with that first sure, okay? I hope you enjoyed a little bit something, guys. So, yeah. We're trying, we're trying. Huh? Can I ask you a question before you conclude? Yes. This uh, number 10, and we just did Number one, you Domot, you did an amazing job with your show, supporting, thank you. Thank amazing you. job, thank you. And all on happy occasions you should be there, yes. Amen. I'm listening. Amen. Thank you. Can you explain to us what the significant significance in this instance the, to the number 10 is in, a, in relevancy, what you did? Like the what? you, the hey, the vav, the hey. So we made it 10, now what? What does it mean? You said each thing means something. It's the connection. Let's go. Let's go. Let me put six more and I'll explain to you everything. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Tell me you were here when I was talking about Ketan? No, I'm getting a little late. I, get, I, I, don't, I got the Ketan. Yeah. Overall, your main achievement goal. Right. Okay? And then Chokhmah is what? You're opening up. Opening up. You don't, you're starting the Kavanot deeper. To get more connection with Hashem. And Bina is what? Heart. Bina is heart. Bina is Tzereh. Bina is Kavanot for people who cannot get pregnant or anything. And, and I'll tell you one thing. Anything you pray for somebody else, Hashem sees you. If you need the same, same thing, you get it first. 
You know what I told you? Here, sitting in front of us, a person, when he asked me that his wife needs to have a baby. He's here right now. I took him to a certain place. You know, Rabbi Lubavitch, where is he buried? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Behind it, there's like a row of 20, 30 rabbis buried. Yeah. And I went there, I read in a certain book like 19 years ago, if you go by the grave of a certain rabbi and you pick up some grass, you will have uh, children. The woman who cannot have children, she's going to get pregnant. Definitely she's going to get pregnant. Here or two, whatever. So I went with him to pick it up. I picked it up. And like four months later, my wife told me that she's expecting Wow. <laughs> wow. I went with him to pick it up for him. Four months later, my wife. Six months later, his wife. Wow. Okay, this is to show you how it works. <laughs> this is what Hashem does. This is what Hashem does, guys. When you pray for somebody, Hashem gives you first. And you know what I'll tell you? If you want to realize it, when you go home today, before you go to sleep, write down on the paper what you want in your life. Write it down. Ten things write down and put in one of your books. That you will open it in a year or in six months. Do it. You know what I'll tell you? Sometimes you, you think I'm joking with it. There were some Gemaras very hard for me 20 years ago. I thought I will never be able to understand. I have a lot of papers. I write whatever Yeshua I go, I write. Whatever things I go, anything I say, I write it. And I keep it always with me. I have papers with me that I wrote 20 years ago, 18 years ago. And I found one of those papers and I say, Hashem, please help me with this Gemara. I cannot understand it. By today, for that 20 years, I already finished that Gemara three times. Mm. But you know, that time I couldn't even understand once. And today I finished three times. Or I wanted to get certain license, rabbinical, certain degree, one of those degrees. So I thought I will never be able to get it. I went six, seven, eight times. I failed. And the rabbi was good. He said to me, listen, practice this, practice this, practice this, come back to me. So I was working, I was 18, 19, 20 year old kid, you know. But Lemai said, today, I look at it back, I said, wow, Hashem, thank you. You listened to my tefillot, you reached me to where I want to be today. Thank you. And this is how everything you want to realize, write it down. Read it in six months, in one month. You have 10 things already in one month. Should one of them is gone. Should you put it in a book? Huh? Should you put it in a, what if someone already wrote it down? Should you put it in a book? or Where, You, you don't want to put it in a book, put it in one of the suit packets. That you know, in one month, you'll check it out. And you will see. You will see. Okay, let's go right down the six and then we'll conclude because the food is getting cold. Uh, I will do. Uh, guys, I'm going to send this recordings to all the rabbis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting six in English, okay, for you. I could add in Hebrew, just some people will not understand, so I'll, I'll put it in English. Abraham is... Abraham, guys. So now, how many we have over here? Six. Number one is Chesed. What means Chesed? Kindness. Kindness. Hold that word today. I will not go anywhere before I will explain you this today. Okay. Abraham is Chesed. Chesed is what kindness? Kindness. Abraham Avinu. Abraham Avinu stands for kindness. Okay. It's Chag. Avinu is for Gevura. Zero. Strength. Mm. Which is called judgment also. Okay. Yaakov is Din, yeah. Yaakov is Yaakov Avinu is What's the ferret? Huh? I define it mm. glory. It's a mix of the two glory. Slava. Krasata, Slava. Glory at the Slava. Okay. Avram Mitzrayk Yaakov. Who Yosef. comes next? Yosef. Yosef. Moshe Rabbeinu. He goes in the order of Moshe. Moshe stands for? Netzach. What does that mean? 
Hold. Hold. Thank you. Okay, next. So we don't know what that does. Yeah, that's from we'll, we'll, we'll explain. explain. We'll explain. How about you connect it nice. to the leap here? It's just harder words. We're going so uh, After Moshe comes Aaron. After Aaron comes who? Yosef. Who is Yosef? Yosef. Yosef. Yosef is? Yosef. 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 foundation. Where is Yosef. in our body? Read me Yosef. That's right. Foundation. Wow. Rabbi, for, for some reason, Google translates saying that that all this glory, all this glory. Google, and, and, and check, Google. check out Tiferet, Tiferet Beauty. Then, okay, fine. Who's that? Who is king? David. David. Very good. David. David is Malchut. Rabbi, the whole thing I I made it a little bit easier. I put it beautiful. It's fine. All these six is coming from one letter. Letter of love. All this in love of Hashem's name. Now. Let's get it clear here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Six there, seven there, no? Yes. How many is That's from Malkut. You have seven. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta cross out David. Yeah. 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 The King? That's the hanging. We gotta get rid of David. Yeah. 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 This one yeah. is yeah. over here. So I'm not explaining about the Malchud yet. So we're going to the six six R over here. So we have to cross out David. <coughs> Don't cross out. Keep it there. David's for that. Everyone is important there. Keep it. The David goes for. Amen. Okay. So now. Chesed. One more time. Chesed. Gevura. Tiferet. Netzach. Hod. Yisot stands for letter of Thank you. All six stands for letter of Here we have six. And Malchud is over here. Malchud is by the letter Hey. I want to ask you one question. Since we're already holding in different level, I want to speak to you in one beautiful question. I'll conclude with that. That's all. It's already time. I could stop in two minutes. <coughs> Actually, it goes on the next one. I don't, I don't know if I should say, but I will say it. I'm still, I'm still nice. The next one will be Segol. Segol Tlidat. That stands for Chesed. But still, I will explain today why. Because I promised you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six stands for six days of the week. Aaron, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef. This is the six first Ushpizin that come to your sukkah. Uh, tfilin, I'll explain what tfilin is. Tfilin is when you wake up in the morning. I'm sorry, guys, I don't like scaring people. I'm not here for this. I want you to do this word with love, but I have to say sometimes what needs to be said. Tfilin, we wear the main strip feeling of time that you make bracha is over here. Here, Zohar says, 
You have to tie tefillin as you tying your soul into your body. Because when you sleep at night, in the morning, soul doesn't want to go back to the body. Why? Because it's physical world, and now it goes to I'm sorry, spiritual world, it goes to physical. It doesn't want to go to physical world. So what do you do? You tie your tefillin. As you tie your tefillin, you're making your own personal box. In every box, you have six sides. One, two, three, four, up and down six. Okay, yes, no? That's Magen David. Magen David, six. But the box itself, it's seven. So this is what we call uh, uh, entire body of human being. But we, we, we are not only body. We have Neshama, which is we do Brit Mila for, right? When do you Brit Mila? Eighth day. So this is why we tie eight. Here we do seven, and here half, and here half goes to eight. So we say we want eight fully to remain in this world, our neshama should be with us all the entire day. So therefore, it's very important to that feeling. But now, we're not talking about this. We have one word, the word chesed. Chesed is gematria 72. Chesed gematria 72. Why chesed should be gematria of 72? Okay. One second. One second. One second. One second. When Hashem created the world, Shh. when Hashem created the world, He called Shiva Kisheshet Yamim. We say this in Kiddush. Kisheshet Yamim. Okay. So Kisheshet Yamim. One Yom, one day. Day is how many hours? Day. No, day. Twelve. One day is twelve. Six days Hashem created. Comes out? Seventy-two. Who created the day of Shabbat? The days. Who created the day of Shabbat? Hashem. Wrong. Who created the day of Shabbat? Guys, talk to me in my language. They're, they're, they're making me bored. Who created the day of Shabbat? Huh? First Shabbat, you're right. After that? Last Shabbat. Who created the day of Shabbat? Huh? Thank you. Hashem says, I only. Kisheshet Yamim Asa Hashem. Sheshet Yamim. What Sheshet Yamim? Hashem says, I create six days only. Seventh day is you. If you create Shabbat, because of your creation Shabbat, you create the other six days. If you don't keep Shabbat, there's no other six days in the world. So this is why we have to know. Yom is day. 12 hours. So what is this called? 72. Hashem did us a favor. How do you call favor? Chesed. Chesed. How much is Chesed? Samech? 16. Dalet? 4. Altogether? 72. Hashem said, I'll do you a kindness. I will do six days. If you keep Shabbat, you do other six days. If you, this is how we create okay, every day. So days. now, I'll give you a proof to what I'm saying, and I'm the concluding with that. <coughs> In the morning, you come back from shul on Shabbat. Friday night, how do you say kiddush? Standing. standing. Shabbat morning? See, why Shabbat is here already? Why should we be standing? So now, Friday night, we start. Yo, mashishi, why? Hashama, stop. What did you say just now? You did like this. You did that, no? How yom? What yom? Yom yud. Ha shishi. Hey. Ha ha. Yom hashishi. Va va yichulu. Va. Ha shamaim. You just said Hashem's name, right? You created. You start ten zevira right away. You asked me, Mister Domo. I forgot your name. Rich. Richie. Jewish name. Rachamim. Now it's a different story. Rachamim. Why I ask Jewish name? How every letter, how every letter has a deep point. Every Jewish name has deep point also. So now, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All these ten has different body parts in person's body. Everything in your body connects with this. Bina is heart. Somebody has heart problems, right? You go and you start praying with. Connection, when you pray Shema Nasser, you have Kana of Bina. Which one is that? Mechaye, yeah. Metim. Hashem may feel this dead person life. You never know. Not always dead person in the cemetery is dead. No. Somebody's life in the hospital. Hashem already has signed on him. He has to die, God forbid. He's considered dead. You pray for him. Hashem Mechaye, Metim. Make dead person life. And you turn his mazal to life. 
you. This is why it says, whoever <clears throat> hears his friend is sick and he doesn't pray for him, he's considered as if he spills the blood. Why? Because you could have prayed for him and you could change his mazal. And you didn't. This is how it's important. Yes. Is it only by Mikhaya Metim or if another bracha has a Sarayu? Has another one also. I don't know where is what? Hashivenu. Very good. Why? Because that is the Shuvah. Hashem returned him. If person goes on a different path and he, he has a chance to come back and didn't come back, what if he comes back? We spoke about it before. Person makes the shuva as if he's born now. Very good. Okay, so bottom line is you come. <coughs> you come on Shabbat morning. How do you start Kiddush? Shamru? Not Vaychul Hashemayim? What do you say Vaychul Hashemayim? What means? One second, one second, one second. One second. Shh, guys, one second. Yes, you're right. Sorry. Friday night, you start. Yom Hashishi, Vayichul Hashamayim, Vayadis Vachol Tzvam. Translation on the sixth day, they finished creation. What's Vayichulu? Chal means. Kale finished. Vayichulu and they finished. Who is they? You don't want to say they. And just created the world. Don't say that again. Hashem created the world. What it means? Vayichulu Hashemayim. We finished. Who is we? Gemara says. Torah says. Halacha says. Whoever keeps Shabbat. He's becoming a partner with Hashem in the creation of the world. How Hashem created six days and on seventh day Hashem rested. Same thing, person who keeps Shabbat, he considered that he created with Hashem six days and rest on seven days. Today I'll give you a new proof. <coughs> What's the new proof? If you kept last Shabbat, so for these six days you are partnered with Hashem. Because you kept that Shabbat, now you created with Hashem six days. To which Chesed, to which Hashem, to which key that Hashem gave us, it's called Chesed. Chesed, kindness. Now you see, what did you learn today? Today we learned not a lot, but a little bit. We learned about what was Bina, creation. Then we learned how it connects to the heart, that you have to learn Torah with the heart. Mm -hmm. Then we learned today with the Yetzirah, Yetzirah says for Yetzirah, creation, giving birth, okay, returning to Hashem, very good. Then we learned about Chesed, kindness. Then we learned about how Lera Hay works, how Bina works. And next week, Be'ezad Hashem will go to Sego and other letters of Hashem, Be'ezad Hashem. Today, I will ask you a favor. A, I want to say thank you to our sponsors who sponsored the shiur today. We will enjoy the meal in one minute exactly. Hey, thank you, Mr. Rudy. You decided to do, not only today, other three weeks, and Hashem should put your mother's place in Gan Eden. Amen. Why? Amen. Why? Because the main thing, what you could do to your parents is Torah. Kaddish. Ashkavot. Tefilot. Torah is the main thing. Torah is the main thing. But you know, I'll tell you, 100 years ago, the world was not allowed to learn Zohar stuff, deep stuff like this, what we're learning. Today, they open Why they say, soon Mashiach is coming, you have to be exposed yourself in different angles in the Torah. This is why we're learning all this stuff. And today, so many people came to learn. Sure. I want to ask you a favor, please. Leilu Nishmat should be Bela Belorio Bat Esther and Rav Michal's grandfather. Rafael Chai Ben Ima Shalom Mani Ben Chana Zilpa Bat Bat Sara Also our neighbor who passed away young His name was Elazar Ben Tamara Begam Kol Aniftarim Ma Aniftarot Ruach Hashem Tanichem Began Eden I want to say Please This week When you pray Shmona Yisrael Have Kavana in Mechaya Metin Hashem please Help those women who needs to get, get get pregnant, that you should get pregnant. Who needs to have Amen. easy labor, easy labor. Who needs to have better life. Let them give birth. Be, be born in a new easy life. You know, in a better life. And us, us all of us, to be born in the world. No corona. Amen. No corona, Amen. no sicknesses. Amen.